Yeah, look, she's she's going up. She's going under the house. Hi, mama. Oh my god. Look, they're there. They're under there. Oh my god. I can hear them. Oh my god. They're under there. Oh my god. They're like mom. <laughs> They're all eating. They're so hungry. Maybe we let them hang out for a minute. Oh, she's such a good mom. That's good. Well, I thought she was just crawling under there. Two little heads pop out. I, I've I never like, seen anything no like way. that in my life. I can see. I can three see at least right three. Now. Oh, there's a there's a fourth one. There is. There yep. Is. We knew they were probably so hungry from being without her, and they started nursing immediately. Ma'am, what's your name? Wanda. Hi, Wanda. I'm Lizzie. Nice <laughs> and this is Marcel. Hi, Hi Marcel. We didn't get a chance to introduce you. ourselves. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, that's amazing. We knew that she was going to go right into protection mode, so we knew that we needed to take it slow and respect her space. Come here, baby. She's coming for it. She's trying to find it. Good girl. Oh, it's a good girl, Mama. Yeah. Good girl, Mama. Hi, Mama. Good girl. You did so good. Yeah. Using treats is, is the best way to get her out. She's skinny. We know she's hungry. And that's probably the best way to, to get her away from her babies. Good girl. Good girl. We cannot wait to get her back and get her fed and comfortable and get them all out of this heat. Okay. Hi, baby. We're going to go get your babies. We're going to get your babies. Hi. Oh, they're so scared. We knew we were gonna have to get under the house to get these puppies. There was no way they were coming out. They were scared, and we just took their mom. <sighs> Hold on. We were already getting eaten by fire ants. You have to worry about snakes. <laughs> Marcel, they're right here in the front. Yeah, they're backing up when we try to get them, and there's a lot of ants, so he's gonna put some pants on because we're getting bit by fire ants. Yeah, trying to come out. trying to climb the couch. Are you trying to come get? Come on, come get your little, come get your little friend. Look at you, look. I know it's your sibling. Come here, baby. Oh, yeah, good. You want to get your sister? It's OK. These puppies are so scared right now that I need to take a step back and let them get used to me being there. Oh, one's coming. It's OK, Mama. Come on. Oh, it's OK. Oh, they're coming to you. But then Miss Wanda bent down and started baby talking them, and they just started kind of walking out. So at this point, I'm so glad that she's here. They came to her. <laughs> OK, here you go. The last puppy was the most shy. He kept backing up further underneath the house. So at that point, there was no option other than one of us going under the house, and Marcel stepped up and said that he would do it. OK. Oh, he's coming to you, Marcel. A 17-year-old dog had fallen overboard into the floodwaters and could not be found. There was no doubt in my mind that this dog did not survive. Come on. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. 
So to have him here alive, miracle is the only word to describe it. Hold on, hold on, old guy. Hold on. Jericho was in some pretty bad shape, and in some ways he still is. But you know, thanks to some good people at a vet clinic in Mandeville, you know, they got him stable, and at least you know, able to be reunited with his family again. Come on. Hello. Oh, hi guys. Hi. Here it goes. You guys know each other? Come on, come on. <laughs> nice meeting you. you. Yes. Hi, I'm Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. Come on, Jericho. You've had quite a journey, I think. We need to get. Come buddy. Come on. Oh, well, he's perked up now. Yeah, let's get his body. Oh, mama. Oh, my sweet boy. You do sweet boys. He's a sweet boy. You lost. He perked up quite a bit. Gosh. Forget mama, forget me lost. Oh. Oh. Suzanne has lost so much, but at least she still has her dogs. Sugar Hill got a call from the attorney who's been trying to help us reunite the mom and dog with her puppies. And he's finally gotten the authorization we needed to get the puppies to safety. I spoke okay. to him this morning. He said he's going to let me go in and get the dog, so. OK. We got to the house. There was Laura, just like she promised. She's ready to go inside the house, talk to the roommate, get the puppies. The first two, they appeared to be OK. The second two puppies, though, Man, they, they look like they were in some trouble. I don't think these guys were taking care of these puppies whatsoever. It is a sense of relief that everybody's counting for. But we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get these bad boys back home, sugar. We've got to get these pups back to their mama before it's too late. Look who I got, Mama. Trish, baby. Look who I got. It's your baby. They started nursing almost immediately when we started reuniting them. So, it, you know, everybody's good. It's all good. For the last couple of days, we've been trying to corral a stray white pit bull named Phantom into our play yard enclosure. Elise, you see him still? We left food out for him inside the fence, but he always waits until we're long gone before he eats. The only time he comes out long enough for any of us to see him is during our nighttime dog walks. He seems to be very interested, almost playful, with other dogs. If we walk and she walks straight into the play yard, you can just whoosh. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll go like that. So I asked Sydney, one of our workers, to bring out Rupert, one of our most social pit bulls, to see if we can lure him out of the dark. We need to make sure all of our employees know to, like, <gasps> shut the He's right there. I'm not kidding. Oh my god, you guys need to move right now. I got it. Go in the Shh, go in there, go in there, go in there. All I could think about was getting everyone out of sight and into the car so we didn't spook the dog. Turn the light off. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. I'm hoping that if Rupert can get him interested in play, Phantom might join him in the play yard and then Marcel can run behind him and close the gate. sat on Lizzie's keys and set off the car alarm. Damn it. Obviously, Phantom was spooked, and he took off. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I asked Sydney to follow Phantom with Rupert to see if Rupert could get his attention again. Just keep walking. Turn around and walk the other way. Here we go, here we go. Hold okay. On. Drinking water out of a puddle. Try and like jog a little bit and see if he follows you, and then yeah, try and like. He has turned around. He is turning around to follow you. 
I think so. Oh, go back towards here. We can see you. Just walk straight into the play yard. I'm going to hang up right now. Straight back. And we're going to try and shut it. He's gonna get scared. I gotta get, bring Rupert this way. You come this way, You, Sydney, you come this way. Right when Marcel slammed it shut, the dog started panicking. Sydney, yes, you come out with Rupert. Get him out, hurry up, shut this. I'm just scared he's gonna break out. I have him. You're okay, you're okay. Set the crate down right here. Okay, set it down, you're okay. Go grab the blanket out of your car real quick. If I need to sh grab something to shove them with. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do, baby doll. I know it's scary. It's okay. Yes, it is. Good boy, Rupert. You're magic. Pull Rupert back a little bit. Come on. Ooh, you tried to bite me. Okay. You're okay, baby. You're okay. I know you're scared. Give me the blanket. You're okay. Come on. You're okay. It's okay. Nope. You're fine. Got him. I'm sorry, sweetie. Opera? I'm sorry. No one got bit. It was a massive relief to finally get this dog in a crate. I'm shaking a little. I mean, we've been trying to catch this dog for a while now. Hi, honey. I'm anxious to see what his temperament's like once he settles in and calms down. In the meantime, I'm just glad he's safe.